hello children uh, i hope that you are doing uh, well at home during uh, this time period and uh, of course i hope that you are doing your study backs properly at your home and uh, as uh, some of the children ask me so uh, how can we edit the pdf files that we are receiving from the teachers uh, as study backs and uh, some of you were struggling on how to uh, write the facts uh, on top of the pdf file as it's going to be uh, really tough to write it on a paper and then when you upload photos even the teachers find it hard to uh, evaluate so i think uh, the best option is to uh, write your answers on top of the paper that you are receiving so i'll help you with this video on how to do that okay well we'll start now so let's say uh, this is your pdf file that you have to um, do for the week and when you open it but first of all you have to know which pdf reader you are using for this purpose at the moment if you look at the pdf reader software that i'm using it's adobe acrobat reader dc right i hope you can see this and um, this is the software that i'm going to use for this purpose and uh, there can be many other pdf annotator software um available on the internet so you can use any of those if you are fine and uh, finding a software which is going to satisfy your requirement i'm totally fine with it but uh, if you are finding a bit struggling to use or to know which software to be used for this purpose then i recommend you to use adobe acrobat reader dc right so if you don't have the uh, software that i'm using for this tutorial adobe acrobat reader dc then go to your browser and then search for adobe acrobat read and once you go to this first result you can easily download it so it's a three step process we'll see right so what you have to do is click on this button and then this is a bit large uh, setup file that you have to download in order to install it onto your computer right then it shows you whether you want to run the software right now in order to install it to your computer or whether you want to save that setup file so you can choose uh, correspondingly right i'll move back to the folder that i had been using So let's open the file. Once you have installed the software, then you can open it just as mine. So let's maximize the window. Right. So let's say now there's no way that you can do, and if you had no idea what to do here. Right. To annotate this, the first thing that you should do is once you have opened your file, go to fill and sign. And then select the first one fill and sign and if you want to write your name this software actually has a intelligent um, algorithm in order to detect where are the parts where you can fill up so most of the things are accurate but some may not now for an example if you go uh, beneath this um dotted lines it shows you like you can type something here random let's say let's click on this and then you can see that it says type your text here so you can type your answer here and if you want to move to the next line then go to the next line click on it then type whatever you want so it's simple as that right we'll see how you can um put a tick on a question like this i'm not doing the right answers here my purpose is to just to let you know that how you can use the annotation part of uh, adobe acrobat reader dc right so now you might be thinking okay now on this bar relevant to fill and sign you can see across a tick a circle and stuff so if you try to click on this and if you, when you bring it here the tick sign disappears so what's the solution for this 
you don't even have to click this just go to this click on this now let's say you want to have a tick go to these three dots when you click on it it displays uh, the other options that you have according to this software so you just select this tick sign then you get the tick and if you want to change the color of your font that you are writing you can simply click on this thing which says change color and click on it then it displays the available colors for you right so let's say if this answer is an incorrect one this option should be incorrect then you can select this so it's quite easy and then uh, there's a little problem with this software the only problem you have with this software is where you can't draw any lines so in a question like this where you have to map I recommend you to do this instead of drawing lines because you can't draw uh, lines in this it says add line but it's just like to cross over the words <coughs> so I recommend you to do something like this select the text add text on and then go by the description probably under the description or beside it anywhere you can type the relevant answer for an example let's assume that the answer for the first description uh, should be type check I recommend you to type it here right I hope you understood it then uh, for the teacher also it's gonna be easy the teacher could uh, simply check the description and then uh, the relevant answer in front of this and then mark on it right I hope you understood this simple tutorial on how to use uh, Adobe Acrobat Reader DC in order to annotate your question paper and then once you are done with this go to file and then go to save as you can choose your folder once you go to the folder you can give any file name so let's go to the file and see whether your answers are there and as a fact you can obviously see the size has been increased in the second file so that means more details must be there in that file as we have added more text right let's go to that and then it displays I believe that you understood this part right then thank you so much for watching this video have a good day and be safe during this time period i hope this helps see you